morning. Well, it's morning for me, but morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is. I'm doing door jams right now. I got the driver's side uh, started up to the passenger side. Uh, right now I'm doing the driver door jam. And this is getting hit with um, red scotch brake first. So I'm hitting it with red scotch brake first. Then I'll go through again and hit everything with 600. Um, and then we're just getting it ready for sealer. So let me get started. Um, show you guys when I'm done, sort of. I'll probably just do a quick time lapse so you guys can see what I'm doing. But uh, other than that, I need to hurry up because this car needs to get sprayed today. So. So I got my three quarter inch, I think. Three quarter all the way around. So this is just the base. And then I get around the fine line and I'll put that one like right here. So this fine line will be right there. So my edge doesn't build up so much. And then we're gonna mask it with plastic and then we'll flip it over and then we'll start taping the bottom you're looking at so so i'm gonna take this up right now i'll show you guys when i'm done all right so here's the door all masked up taped up everything this will get covered when i flip it upside down um we gotta flip this upside down right now gibby so this is all done, this is all prepped. This was hit with 600, I blocked the whole door with 600. I went back over it with scotch bright red, the maroon scotch bright and scuff stuff. Went through and got all the edges so I make sure none of my edges will lift. I'm gonna hit all this and then when I put the doors back on together to spray the whole shell completely, this I'll just knock it down with like a thousand grit or 600 and then we just foam all the way up to this edge and then we just paint the whole door. That's the way I did the truck, that's the way I'm gonna do this one. So I gotta flip this door around. What up guys, um, I got kind of sidetracked um, and I forgot to record some of the stuff, but this is the progress so far on the car. So we got the whole car messed up, got the door messed up right there. Give me one sec, I'll walk over here. Got this side all messed up too. Yes, I taped the floor because I'm in a garage. Um, and I keep the dust down because we weld, paint, prime, sand, do body work, carpentry. We do everything in this garage. So to minimize it, we scrub the floors with degreaser and a big like sweep brush. We brush the whole thing, power wash it, rinse it all down, squeegee it. So that's how we prep. That's how I prep. So I'll do a wide angle so you guys could see everything. So. Tomorrow, all I got to do is just come here, throw some plastic on that wall so we don't get the toolbox dirty over there. And we're going to cover up all these toolboxes over here, too. Uh, I'm not going to be throwing a box fan in here because they're door jams. I can keep the overspray down with the adjustment of the gun. So I'll adjust my gun accordingly. But this thing is all ready to go. So we're going to be shooting the door jam right here. 
and the side skirt all the way over. And if you see right here on the bottom, that's where my blend will be. So when I go to paint this quarter panel right here, my blend will end down here. Well, it'll start right here, actually. And um, you won't be able to see it when the side skirt is on. So this will all look like it was painted in one piece. Now, if you were to take the side skirt off, it might be a little mismatch, but not really. Um, and my line is right here. Here's my fine line. I'll zoom in. So here's my fine line, and it'll go right here to the door. And I just use like maybe like an eighth of an inch gap. So that's how I ran my fine line. <clears throat> I'll spray everything. So I'll spray all the door jams. And then when I go to paint this quarter panel, all I have to do is come here and block this out with like 600 grit. I'll do 400, knock it down, 600 to finish it off. Scotch bright the rest up till here in gray Scotch bright. So when I go to clear, I can pull that foam out and blend my clear in right into there. And it'll all come into one. Does that make sense? So that's how I'm going to do it here, all the way up to here. The glass will hide this because the glass comes out to like right here on this body line. So this will be hidden behind the glass. And when I go to spray this, you won't be able to notice it because it's all behind the glass. So uh, then this pillar, the A pillar, the B pillar will all be sprayed in one when I spray the quarter panel the door and the fender so i don't know if that makes sense to you guys uh you probably have to see it because it's kind of like confusing if i explain it but basically i need to spray out my door jams first and then i could spray the entire car together because um the way that this color is which is right here i have the color here so the way that this color is since there's so much flake in there pearls metallics whatever you want to call it so since can you see that right there so the way that those have to lay out those have to lay out uniform so perfect uh, or else you'll be able to tell the difference so when i go to spray my bumper the rear bumper that color will look slightly off to the quarter panel why because i'll be spraying at different times different psi's temperatures uh the way i spray it that day maybe i'm lazy and i'll spray it a little slower and it'll lay out differently tomorrow i might spray it differently and they'll come out different to the quarter panels like that's why you want to try and spray the whole outside of your car the same day um it'll just look better when you're looking at the car you ever look at a car and it's like spotty or different colors like that's what i want to avoid with this paint job so uh that's why we're doing it this way now now i know somebody's gonna be like oh this is not how you're supposed to tape you're supposed to run it all the way to the edge and blend it and blah 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 like this is how i'm doing it everybody paints differently it all comes out the same sorta sorta but the way i do mine is probably different the way you do yours but this is the way it's going to work for me. This is the way I feel comfortable doing it. So that's how I'm going to do it. What up, guys? We are getting ready to start spraying this damn car. It's about time. It's already 5 o'clock. I just got off of work like two, three hours ago. Um, got the car all prepped up. Got some plastic ran over there on toolboxes. Most important toolbox over here. Um, got these cars right here. I want to see how the color changes with the sealer i'm gonna do a dark sealer on this one um but i just want to see how it is paint that's clear i'm going with top notch one of the top notch clear coats you can get from ppg i'm not giving out my paint coat you guys can kind of figure that out i didn't do it on the truck i ain't doing it on my car um i don't know i'm just kind of i'm weird like that i don't want to give out paint coats yeah people I'm a gatekeeper or whatever you, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm not giving out my paint coat. So that's that. And I got to start mixing. Um, 
got the holes already. Uh, I'm gonna just start making some sealant right now. I'm gonna wipe down the car. Um, and we'll start shooting, so. All right, so this is shop line JP337. This is a um, this is a dark gray sealer. I'm just mixing it up right now, just getting the consistency right. Jeez, All right, so that's how much sealer I got in there. Will I use all of it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, we'll just see right now. you guys can see there's overspray but there's not a lot of overspray i'm not hammering on it because they're just door jams we just gotta let it flow out nice and slow you can see right here it's already starting to dry so just letting it lay out real nice and slow taking my time with it laying it down really light as you guys can see i had to build it up um that's gonna help the door jams look like it was all pinned at once. You guys can see that laid down real nice and smooth. There's a little bit of 400 grit scratches in there, but that'll be all right. All right, so here is the base coat.
There's a pool for me and Tega. Tired, but it's the shadow. See that shadow? He's gonna look super tired. All right, so this is gonna be second coat. Uh, I gotta go through, and I'm just gonna just lay second coat on here because um, we need to clear this, and I gotta work tomorrow. So I'm gonna be quick. I'm not gonna record this one, um, but I'll show you guys when it's done. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry, but I need to wear the mask because you can see there's a lot of overspray. Uh, I'm not going to be throwing the box fan in here because they're door jams. I can keep the 
overspray down with the adjustment of the gun. So, here's what we're gonna do. We got Deltron right here. This is Deltron DCU 2021. All right, see right there? Here's the clear coat that we're gonna be putting up. Oh, I can't breathe. All right, so the clear coat that we're putting on is Deltron DCU 2021. This is the hardener. That's a DCX61. Now the mix ratio on this one, I have no idea what it is. So I need to look up the data sheet and see. Oh, never mind. It's right here. So we're gonna put two coats and it's a four to one to one. All right, so here we go. So this clear coat is gonna be spraying everywhere. I do not want clear coat on my lens, all right? So I'm gonna hang you guys up. When I'm done, I'll show you guys, all right? So I'm gonna hang you guys up. I don't want overspray. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Holy overspray, man. Check that out. Garage paint job, bro. Garage paint job. Damn, I'm tired. Check this out. All right, so it's the next day and paint is all dry. There's a little small runs, but that's in the second coat of clear. So I'll just be able to wet sand that out. This thing is very, laid down very nice. So I'm peeling off all the plastic right now. That way we can start wet sanding this car in 600. Yeah, of gray between the dark, the darker gray. What I did was I laid this fine line. I laid this fine line tape in there first. So first I masked the whole car in fine line. Then I went over it with the yellow tape to hold it down. And then on the edge, what I would do is I would peel that yellow tape back to expose the purple fine line, which would be laying right here. Grab that edge peel it and you and you get left with something like this where you still have the yellow tape with your plastic 
and all you do is expose the fine line. That leaves you like a real thin. There's not much of a ridge on there. Zoom in on there. There's not much of a ridge on there. So you'll it's less work for me to sand this down to prep the whole outside for paint. So that's why you use the fine line, peel that back, and you leave the plastic on and it doesn't allow the overspray to settle on the rest of the car. Then you fold your plastic inwards, so the whole car is wrapped, fold it inside, and then roll it into a ball. That way all your overspray stays inside and it's all clean. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, May 24th. Um, got the jams all done, unmasked. You guys probably saw from the clip before right now. Hopefully this FedEx guy is for me. I got a new paint gun, just came in right now. Um, I'm gonna start unmasking the doors, flip the doors over, take the hinges off. I'm gonna start scuffing those down, get them ready for paint. I'm gonna try and spray these fenders today. You gotta pull the car out, start wet sanding those fenders, spray them out real quick, throw them in the backyard, let them dry. And then we're gonna start scrubbing the floor down again, wash it all out, get the car all ready for wet sanding, start masking it up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all that today, but tomorrow we will be able to because we still got time because spray day is Sunday. So we still got three more days to go. So let me get started. 